Hello and welcome to the show. It is time to take on the big airport meeting. We shall uh, get registered for this one to really put the bullet to the test. Our first heat. There is no challenging other cars in this race. You will just be assigned heat to uh, racing. An FMJ, a Nero Custom, and a Cyrus are the cars I'm up against. The Nero... I mean, I would normally be afraid of the Neros, uh, but it does depend on how much it's modified, and we've already beaten one. Uh, Cyrus we haven't raced against, FMJ we have um, thoroughly obliterated. The question is just how fast is our bullet going to be? I will need, of course, to be getting good gear shifts. I will need to be getting a uh, good launch. The sort of semi-wheelie that we get from our car is about perfect actually because you don't really lose too much control of the uh, of the vehicle nobody has betted on me which means if we can take a victory it would be uh, would be nice uh, yeah the uh, the semi-wheelie is quite nice in terms of getting the car off and underway now we do kind of hit our max speed but we've hit our, I say we've hit our max speed we hit it 14.6 for a first run in our car that is I believe considerably faster than we were seeing out of the uh, Puma mobile and we get an extra eight grand from the uh, from nobody betting on us that's nice that's very very nice indeed that is a very good first run that's a very good first run indeed now I think there is a way to get this car to go even quicker. It's a really, really risky way. When the car's kind of slightly up on, on the wheelie, it's getting a, a speed boost, essentially. Now, if we can change gear fast enough, the first gear shift is fine because we're wheeling. It's the second gear shift where there is an ever so fractional uh, blink of green. If we can hit that blink of green, then we are quite sorted. However, it's such a tiny blink that you run the real risk of missing, well, missing it completely, completely mistiming it, and that will then cost you a lot of time. If you can get it spot on, then yeah, there is some serious speed to be found, but I'm not sure I'm quite brave enough. Oh, we have for our first time raised against one of the uh, rocket Voltics. However, it isn't going to fire the uh, the rocket out of the back of it. We've got, we've got two Voltics. Um, the grey one, I'm pretty sure, was the one that was racing up at... Uh, the road area we were taking part in last time. Oh, we've got a Wagner that uh, we know is not particularly great. We've got Kamikaze Spectators once more. Uh, now we've got one, a uh, Proto Fancy to bet on the uh, on the bullet. And we are off and underway. It is a, a good... Oh, it was a good start. I thought I'd misshifted there, but we got away with it, surprisingly. We are miles, miles clear of the other cars. These people were saying the bullet was a bad idea. This is absolutely monstering the competition. Admittedly, it's been a relatively a simple first couple of races. Nothing massively horrendously fast in that one. The Wagner actually couldn't beat the Voltix. Yeah, it's, I have no doubt it's an incredible car through the corners, but that is completely irrelevant <laughs> out, out here. It has got no top-end speed. It's just too much drag on that car. Great for cornering. Not so great for the uh, the rest of things. I kind of want to race the 811. I'll be honest here. What? Well, let's uh, have a thing. What do we got that could seriously challenge us out here? The 811, I do know they can be very, very fast. They have seen a very fast uh, RE7B, I believe. Uh, but again, I don't know if that's going to be fast enough to beat the bullet. Uh, Vacker's not going to stand a chance. Wagner's we know have no top end. Penetrator is unlikely to work. Uh, again, the Nero's maybe. Zintorno, I think one of the fastest cars we've raced was a Zintorno down here. But, well, the fastest car we've raced that hasn't been one of the horrendous drag monsters, shall we say. Uh, what have we got going on here? Well, we'll see what times this lot come out with. There may be one massively modified. Of course, the Protos as well. Uh, a highly modified Proto is a difficult car to be beating. We got Tur Turismo, Banshee, another bullet. Uh, oh, the bullet was in reverse. <laughs> the adder's off. The bullet, I, I don't even know what's going on with the bullet. Um, well, the bullet's had an incident. Had a big incident, to say the least. What is the time? Oh, the bullet, I think, exploded. Adder, only a 17 from that, 18s and 20s from the other two. Where was the bullet? I, I heard a bang. I didn't see. Um, 
what went on with that one. That's a, um... Yeah. <laughs> it's a big explosion. That was a big explosion. I think he might have hit a spectator. Might have been why he started in reverse or something. Anyway, we've got another bullet in this race. RE7B, a Reaper, and an Entity. I don't know what with the, with the uh, reversing going on with a couple of these cars. Hopefully they're going to be in the right gear this time as they go to set off. Uh, no, they are not. What's going on with you guys? I was in spectate mode as well. I think it's, everything's got a little bit confused. There was a big explosion and now everyone's a little bit on the confused side. Can't say I blame them particularly, but uh, there we go. Is anyone even going to vaguely go below the 15s? That's the question here. No, only a 16-8. I have got a very quick car. It might not be quite enough to beat the drag monsters, but these guys... I don't really fear any of them anymore. The Pumabile was good. Don't get me wrong. The Pumabile was very, very good for for what it was. For a starting car, let's face it, the Pumabile could just about run with these vehicles, although it did end up just getting beaten by the real high-end supercars. However... The bullet is really, really holding its own here. I think there are quicker... I don't think we've been put in necessarily the fastest heat so far. That uh, Nero there is looking pretty rapid uh, alongside me, but they just can't match the launch of the bullet. And once we've got to top speed, is anyone able to close? Yeah, again, the, 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 the Nero is good. 14.5 from the bullets. I say the Nero is good, but it's two seconds down. The Comet comes across the line. The FMJ was uh, lacking distinctly in the top speed department right there. Uh, Voltic, Rocket Voltic, Penetrator or something. I love how it's always putting the Voltics together. <laughs> they're, they're, they're definitely wanting to, uh, to stay together in these races. Come on, put me with the Proto. Put me with the Proto because I want to see how fast we can do against that. Or a Tempesta or the 811. They're kind of the cars that I, I know have been devastatingly fast in previous rounds. Uh, we have got on the line here... Oh, yes, the two the two Voltics. We'll see. I don't think any of these guys are going to be able to run into the 14-second kind of mark. Let's see, though. Voltics get off the line quickly, as you would be expecting. Nothing anywhere near as fast as the car on the outside. I think that's the Osiris that is blasting away. The Penetrator has no speed at all, although we'll gradually catch the Voltics as they run out of uh, top end. Osiris a 15-4. That's the quickest we've seen from anything outside of my bullet. 15-4 is pretty good going. Uh, we have got a Sultan, Proto, Vaca and Wagner. Lots of Vs in this one going up. Uh, what cars have we got? Ooh, are we racing the Nero Custom again? It looks like we are. Oh, don't tell me we've got a, an FMJ over there or is it a Wagner? Uh, it looks... I'm trying to guess the cars, the other the cars with the yellow... Uh, oh, it's an FMJ. Well, this is going to be a straightforward heat for us. Um, unless any of them are for this round. You can tell by the cars on the map. I don't know where the other green car is. We seem to be missing a guy from this race. This is where everything gets very, very confused because these... Well, everyone else is sort of readying up, lining up behind, and... Whoever it is. Ah, it's the Sultan. There we go. The Sultan that's wanting to join in. I will stay well out of the way. You can go and join here. Go on, Sultan. Try not to crash into everything, please. Go on. You can do it. You can make it through. Look at that. Some expert driving from the AI right there. <laughs> the amount of times they bump into one another down here. Place your bets, audience. I'm thinking Proto. I'm thinking very easy round, actually, for the Proto. As long as the spectators don't get in the way. Uh, they're going to get in the way of the Wagner, potentially the Sultan, as... Oh, oh no, you ran over the starter. <laughs> God damn spectators. Uh, it's very, very close race at the front. Annoyingly, the camera's fixed on the Wagner. I think the Sultan might be able to do it. No, the Proto's going to bring it back, uh, if I am seeing that correctly. 16-9, 17-0, 17-4. Very, very good race, actually, that one. Shame, of course, the replay camera or the cinematic camera was busy looking at... Uh, the one car that was in trouble. Right, start, the starter is okay. Oh, uh, duh, everyone, <laughs> everyone derbing out, not knowing quite where we're going. Yep, we're going to start. Uh, that's definitely a good way to start. This could only go really, really well, folks. Really well. Look, we're, we're racing here. This is not a demolition derby. Just, you can continue to shunt each other down the runway. I'm just going to warm my tyres up. The FMJ is in all the wrong places. Um... 
These spectators are a liability. They're worse than the Group B spectators. Are we all fixed? Oh, I'll get out of here. I think the FMJ wants to come over this way. There we go. Sorted. No. Oh, you Q jumper. You, I want to be in your race. You've got fancy fast cars. I don't want to be in this race. It's the only downside of having it, you know, like randomly assign you, assign you into a heat in that you can end up getting stuck with the same cars and perhaps not have much of the way of competition going on here. Let's uh, spin up the tyres. We're a little bit warm. I think we can get away just about with that. I want a 13 second run, but that is perhaps going to be a little bit tricky for the uh, the bullet. Again, it's a similar launch in uh, many ways. I got away with a lot of kind of spamming of shift up through all of that. I don't quite know how we did that. Uh, we have, yeah, we got away with all of it though, and it's 14 3. Still not quick enough. I say not quick enough. <laughs> Miles faster than everyone else. The Comet actually came very close to beating the Nero. Now, I am going to try something here. I don't know whether this is going to work. I'm going to try to teleport myself back because it will be quicker than me driving back. So it hopefully will put me in the next heat, which will mean that I will go up against faster cars. Or different cars, at least. We'll wait and see. No, I don't think it has. Don't think it's put me in the next one. So, a couple of Zentornos. Oh, that's a lovely start from the Grey Zentorno. And then Mr. Shift halfway down and is going to be passed by the car on the outside. That was the other Zentorno that came soaring past the Grey cars, just run out of any speed. Here comes the T20. Will he catch in time? It's only 17 2. Yeah, not a staggeringly fast run from. Ah, oh, we are in the next one. Nero Custom. We've got a Proto. That is what I want to be seeing in my races. Normally, I wouldn't say that. However, in this instance, I do want to be seeing Protos. We've got to race against the fastest cars to know where we stand with our bullets. I didn't even pay any attention to what the other one was. Uh, oh, we've got a... No, no, it's not the other bullet. That's in the next race. Oh, we've got a Nero as well. There... <laughs> oh, he doesn't have... I was going to say, there is a collection of mighty wings and I'm the only one without, which is a little bit disappointing. However, the red and black Nero doesn't have a mighty wing either. Okay, spin up. After everything guys have been watching, are you really going to choose to bet against the bullet that has been beating everything? And not just beating everything, I haven't seen anybody run times even vaguely shit? close to uh, what this car is capable of. I missed the shift completely in that one. I was trying to get the sneaky, I say the sneaky, trying to get the boosty starts. We are not going to set anywhere near as quick a time, and that Proto is definitely the closest vehicle to us in terms of performance. But we're a, we're a second down on what I have been running. And the still sad. beat the Proto by a second. This bullet is an absolute monster. It is thoroughly living up to its name, which is great. <laughs> it is... Uh, whoopsie. Let's see if we can get back here. Oh, almost landed on the 811. It is absolutely flying down this course, which I'm very, very glad to see. It was not a waste of money, this car. It really wasn't. Really wasn't a waste of money. Wagner, oh, the GTB, I think, is going to have a fairly easy time of this one. I want to see what the 811 can do. I know how fast that car has been in some previous events. Oh, Lamar has turned up. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to see. I'd love to get into a heat with that. 16.6 from the GTB. It's still a couple of seconds down on the personal best. 900R, Turismos and Torno and me in the next one. Okay. Different cars. Different cars. We haven't seen the ban uh, have we seen the Banshee? I think we might have done actually seen it once right down the course. Certainly has a mighty wing on the back of it. Whether that that's probably not gonna help for a <laughs> for a drag race, all of the well additional drag. Less than ideal for the uh, top speed. Ooh, a GTB custom has turned up. Turismo's not really set the world alight with its uh, runs so far. I think the next cars are all oh wow, well, everyone it's all going very efficient down here. Uh, <laughs> I still love all the bets that uh, the Wagner stands to make a fair amount of money off of it. Ooh! Well, that's a... Uh, I was to say, he was about to. I completely... I don't actually know how I launched him. I think it was still on the handbrake. I guess my uh, handbrake button is a little bit on the dodgy... on the dodgy side. So we had a terrible start. We're not going to win this because of the uh, the penalty. I will cross the line. 16-3 <laughs> 16, 16 3 with a jump start and... Kind of holding it and messing about and getting going again. And uh, oh, okay. So I didn't get. Of course, I didn't get the. Um, <laughs> I didn't get the money. The Wagner still won the bet, though. <laughs> That's a um, interesting one, shall we say? 
Let's go and jump back over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I've just teleported in on your face. You okay there? <laughs> Not only have I jump started, I've teleported in onto somebody's head. Um, I apologise for making a mess, basically. I don't know where it's going to put me in the next one. We've got a Nero, a T20, and an Entity going up next, but there isn't a fourth car. Ooh, Proto into the 15s. Uh, very close, actually, between the Proto and... No, we're not in this next one. Add an Entity, T20, and a Nero. We're going to be in the one after. I think we've done it. I think as as far as um, a supercar, a world beater goes, the bullet is up there. Now, this is though, and I say this tentatively, this is though only amongst the supercars. Out here, we don't get the monster vehicles. Um, I assume they will probably make their way to this. I think you can change what cars go to meets in the, uh, the various config files. So... Uh, oh, wow, that's a terrible, terrible start from the uh, from the Nero, although it will get going. Uh, it will start putting the entities actually doing very well out here. Yeah, we don't get the monster car or the monstrous engined vehicles out here. Some of the custom vehicles like the drag, the, the various muscle car, drag muscle cars. I don't think we're quite that fast yet. 16.4 from the entity, still a couple of seconds down. I don't think we're quite that fast yet. Um, but we are not that far off of the conventional normal cars. I'm very pleased to say that the bullet is doing incredibly, incredibly well. I do actually like the blue and uh, the blue and yellow on that Wagner. Lovely looking car. Um, oh, not my tyres up to temperature at all. Busy looking at the Wagner and trying not to do a silly jump start. I'm definitely holding down on the handbrake there. Okay, we are off and underway very nicely here in the bullet. I think our tyres were a little bit too cold on that launch. Uh, we've got a Proto keeping with us for a little while. But then just kind of run. I kind of I kept us a little bit honest, but uh, that was more down to the fact that I had a terrible Who's start next? than anything else. Uh, a couple of cars, red comets buggered off. I think it might have been the Wagner as well that buggered off as well from that. Uh, let's just jump back. Yeah, the Wagner went. I'm I'm being lazy with the teleports just to get myself in some more races and hopefully race some different. I say race some different cars. I think we've competed with just about everybody here now, except for the eight. I haven't seen the eight one one race. I just want—I want to see the 811 go for a go for a run, even if it's not against me. I'd be interested to see what it can do. I think I think we've seen all these cars run. That might be the very very fast RE7B, or it might be the really slow ones. It can go either way. This is a very very close run between the Wagner and the GTB. Oh, the Wagner's run out of speed. Either that or a bad gear shift. He's going to go from first to last. <laughs> Brilliant races ago. Oh dear, that's a smoky engine in the Wagner. <laughs> very, very close finish. That is a um, very, very well. A lot of cars are leaving now from uh, from losing their races. That's um, that was a very smoky engine. Uh, that's you can completely destroy your engine from miss miss shifts if you uh, sort of how I think it's two will get the engine smoking, three will set it on fire. You, if you completely cock up a run, oh, I think we've got an eight one one in our heat. Oh, that's brilliant news. Brilliant news for me. We will then have beaten... Okay, we're not going to film this one then. We will run with you guys. I don't have the so same speed when we've got to... Actually, let's not because we're in the next race. Looks like the Sultans are going to be winning that one. Looks like the Sultans are going to be winning that one. Surprisingly easy. Really not the fastest cars, not the fastest competition in that particular heat. But uh, there we go. Yeah, only a 17-3 needed to win. Here we go. Osiris. In fact, the Osiris, I think, was one of the quickest cars that we had seen go as well. This is probably the toughest heat the Bullet has faced. This is the toughest heat. If we can win this one, then we have got one hell of a car. This Bullet is proving to be absolutely incredible down here. <laughs> I'm so glad it proves all the Deltas wrong. It was a worthwhile investment here. Let's get the tyres up to uh, some temperature. And I say that, we have still got to beat the 811. The 811 is the car to beat. Spectator, get out of the way, you moron. Uh, we are off and underway here. Oh, no, 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 no. We bobbled. We bobbled on the... Uh on the launch slightly. The Osiris got the best start. I think the Osiris is going to get the 811. Even... Oh, God, they're coming. They have got the top end on me. But that was a bad run for me. We, we took a victory from a poor run. A very poor run. But <laughs> over a second down of what I can do because of a dodgy 
gear shift early on. I might not quite have the very, very top speed, but the drag races aren't long enough to ever need that. This is one of the longer races that you will do. Uh, the only possible exception being some of the motorway races. But this thing is so fast off the line that uh, there is... Yeah, plenty. You know, it can pull plenty of gap, even with dodgy, a, a slightly dodgy shift. I was being a little bit greedy. Lamar is bouncing around, showing off the uh, hydraulics. It's not going to do you much good in a race against a Banshee and Twos and Tornos, I feel. He could have a crazy sleeper car. I uh, oh, don't focus on Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> well, of all the cars, that's not the one you want to be stuck watching in a race like this one. The Zentornos are going to win. Oh, the Red Comet's back. He got bored of losing, but uh, then decided to come back. Money-wise, this has been a brilliant, brilliant meet. 16, 9, 17, 17. The Banshee's not massively quick. Uh, close finish between the, the Zentorno and the Banshee. We will do one more round. We will do one more round. How much money are we up to? Oh, God, $649,000. That's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money indeed. I wonder what we're going to do with it all. I'm sure we can try and make some silly cars. That's, that's what... <laughs> We have a sensible car, so that means then it is time to do silly things. I suspect, uh, well, we got Adder ET, ETR1, there we go, I remember the name of that car. Um, not so good off of, oh, not very good at all. Will you stop focusing the camera on the car that does the crappy start? That thing does not look happy. That's, yeah. <laughs> I think it died. Uh, that was either some really dodgy shifting going on. Entity is a 16.5, beats the adder, the bullet quite close with that adder. Don't know what on earth went on with that car. That's a terrible, terrible run. Oh, this is a pretty big heat as well. Two protos and an Aero Custom. And, and saying that, I, I still have no fear against these guys. The 811 and the Osiris have proved to be closest matched, but even then... Even then, not enough. Are we going to do the uh, Lucky Dip Spectator dodging? Looks like we are, to an extent. You guys want to... I think these are the drivers of the cars. They have go to watch and then go to head back to their vehicles. The problem is it's, you know, heading back to their vehicles in front of the cars that are about to set off. Uh, right. Oh, we've got smidge warm tyres, which should be okay. The fog has uh, very much rolled in here at the airport. Proto gets a very good start. Oh, I've completely cocked this one up. That's all gone horribly, horribly wrong for me. I was trying to be clever, and we're going to lose our first race of the day. <laughs> Terrible run by me. Uh, actually, a good, a good competitive run from the Protos. They did finally get a decent-ish time. 15-4 and a 15-7. Clonky, clonky run by me. It's a terrible one to end it on, but there we go. <laughs> well, we took, we had one, one loss, one loss in all of this. But the bullet has been a mighty, mighty supercar. Really did have a good fight. Now, somewhere over there are some cars that are going racing in the fog. Oh, I didn't actually mean to be stuck on that. Well, hopefully the camera will break. I'm happy if the camera breaks this time. No, we're going to be stuck on the super zoom version, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, the bullet has definitely proved its worth. It's proved its worth, made plenty of money. Uh, I mean, we've essentially doubled what we had when we bought that uh, that car. Osiris, a 15-4. They're starting to get quicker times now, typically. Uh, Vacker and Penetrator down towards the bottom of all of that. So, yeah. What are we going to buy next? I think we're going to go mess around with some uh, some different meetings. Maybe we'll bring out the Shafter. Maybe we'll bring out the Serrano. And, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll go and buy something else. Who knows? The bullet, though, is truly brilliant. And I guess the only real way, the only real thing left to test it against is the, well, monstrous cars. See if we can beat them. That might be a tall order. That, though, is a going. It's who be it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye.